Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Caruso. Welcome to my channel where you learn how to get hired and thrive in the film industry. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Today I'll be covering how to do a digital time card on CAPS, uh, which is through cast and crew. So in the entertainment industry, there are two common uh, payroll companies. One is cast and crew. The other is entertainment partners. Cast and crew's online platform is CAPS. So you'll want to go to my.castandcrew.com slash login. And payroll will have already sent you an email uh, with your start work and then you can create a login from there. So this is what it looks like when you get logged in. If you scroll down here, you can see where you can register for your W-2 for taxes, um, how to get your digital pay stubs, and how to uh, get your direct deposit. During COVID times, you know, direct deposit is definitely a preferred method. And on my last show, I didn't receive any um, paper paychecks, uh, which would also have the pay stub attached to it. So to access those, I just go to the digital files um, through Cast and Crew. So to see what your paycheck or pay stub looks like, uh, be sure to register for your pay stubs on here and uh, get your direct deposit here as well. And then when taxes roll around, this is where your W-2s will be located. Okay, but to do a time card, we'll go up here and click hours plus and make sure you hit this symbol here. Select your show that you're on. Click create time card and make sure it is the correct week ending, which will always be Saturday. Double check your occupation title is correct. Then click looks good, let's enter my times. For work location, be sure to specify that. I was on the studio lot Monday through Friday. Work type, I was working. Work state, Georgia. And I probably should have put in the work city here as being Atlanta. Your call time. Your first meal out and first meal in. And wrap. For me and the way my hours fell this week, I'm just able to copy this info from Monday uh, to have it replicated through Friday. Now, this isn't going to be the case for a lot of people, especially if you're on set. Some crew will get additional allowances beyond their time worked. Under allowances is where you would enter those and uh, add any supporting documentation as necessary. So you can see all the different options here for the reimbursement type. For me, I'm looking for the cell phone allowance and I'll enter my weekly cell phone allowance here. On this show, I didn't have to provide uh, any supporting documentation, but on some shows you will need to uh, submit your monthly cell phone bill, so just something to look into for payroll. And then hit the check mark. All right, and for me, my next allowance is going to be a box rental, and then I put in my weekly amount. And for those who are familiar with a box rental form, I'm going to attach my weekly box rental form. If any of this is new for you, I'd advise you to check out my ebook. I'll leave a link below. My ebook covers in great detail all the production, payroll, and accounting policies, procedures, and forms, and how to fill those out. All right, I'm just going to do a quick check here. I did um, 10 hour days all week. That looks good. I got my box rental and cell phone amount on there, did the checks, and added um, any supporting documentation, and no red is coming up, so that's looking good. All right, I don't have any reason to do any changes, so I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Yes, approve. And I'll go ahead and digitally sign. And hit approve again. 
All right, and there it is. It's populated, and now it's waiting on approval from my department head. And ta-da, you will get paid for that week of work. Thank you so much, and let me know if you have any questions.